Alec Manoa, 23 years old, set to make his second big league start. Robbie Ray dominated the Marlins yesterday. Alec Manoa trying to do the same thing. He dominated the Yankees in his Major League debut last Thursday. He went six shutout innings. Two up, two down for Manoa. And now here's Jesus Aguilar. Ground ball. Right shed it short. Over to Teles. Three up, three down. Quick inning for Alec Manoa. Pablo, his last three, a 189 ERA has been superb. Well, and, and Pablo's got great numbers across the board. He's been pitching well of late. He's really been pitching well all season long. He gets his first strikeout as Bichette is down swinging. And Vladdy Guerrero will come to the plate. There's a ball hit into right field, and that one got lost in the lights, and Duval misplayed it. This goes all the way to the warning track, and Vladdy is headed for third. The cutoff is over the head of the first relay man, and Vladdy Guerrero ends up at third base. That'll be his first triple of the season. A two-out trip, it looked like Duval lost it in the lights in right field. And he gets Hernandez to chase, works around it, brands a runner, scoreless after that. Corey Dickerson back in the lineup today. Dickerson out towards center field. This one is hit well. Turning, looking, and carrying over the deepest part of the yard. Corey Dickerson with a home run. His second this year, and the Marlins get on the board first. Now, yeah, Corey, one of the best breaking ball hitters in the National League, is going to prey on a slider. Home run swing could not have come at a better time. This is Marlins Club looking for a lead, an early lead. Here's Randall Gritchick leading things off for the Blue Jays. Randall hits this one high and deep to left. Get up, ball. Get up, ball. Get up, get up, get out of here. God. Randall Gritchick has tied it up. His 10th home run of the season, and it's a 1 1 game. Randall's 10th home run, that's now 40 RBIs. Now Rowdy Tellez steps in. Swings and drives this one into the alley, and that's going to get down and bounces off the fence. Guriel is around. He's going to stop at third as Rowdy Tellez hammered the ball into right field alley. So Rowdy Tellez, maybe this Buffalo field will bring out the best of his stroke. Here's Reese McGuire. Great pitch there by Pablo to get the strike out of McGuire and a big out number two. Simeon grounds it out to shortstop. He's back up here with two outs, two on, bottom two. Alfaro sets up in on one and two, and Pablo Lopez does give up the home run, but strands a couple in scoring position. It's an infield single to lead off the top of the third inning for Jose Devers. Now we'll flip the lineup back over for Jazz Chisholm. And this pitch is whacked in the air to left field, going back, still going back. Guriel looks up, it's out of here. Opposite field, two-run home run for Jazz Chisholm. That ball got out of here in a hurry. It's three to one, Marlins. They're not kidding, Kyle. The ball seems to be going right there, and I know that he hit that ball good, but he kind of knew out of the off the bat right there. Here's Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar grounds it out, bounced out six to three in the first. Aguilar down the left field line. That will carry out of here for a home run. So the Marlins have hit three homers in the ball game, take a four to one lead. Now two home runs in the inning for the Marlins. Things have really changed as the lineup has turned over. Jazz, long home run to left. Aguilar, line shot to left. Bo Bichette to lead things off. Vlad Guerrero Jr. and Teoscar Hernandez do up against Pablo Lopez. Another strikeout for Pablo Lopez. Lopez to Guerrero. In there, called strike three. Got him with a fastball at 95. Pablo rocks and fires and gets another strikeout. That time on the changeup, low and in. He strikes out the side, and he has struck out five in a row. I think it's fair to say this is a big moment in this game. You don't want the momentum to swing back towards Toronto if Piamps can somehow wiggle his way out of this bases loaded one out jam. There's a good change up there as Chisholm was way out in front. Starling Marte, he is a tough customer in these situations. So Bouncing ball towards short. Bichette in time at first base and the inning is over. Pablo Lopez has struck out five in a row. He's got seven strikeouts for the game, but Randall Gritchick took him deep the last time he stepped in the box against him. And he hit another one. Way back and gone. That's a no doubter, folks. Randall Gritchick has cut back into this lead. That's one thing about this lineup. 
if you shut one guy down, he'll show up the next night and produce for you. That is it for Pablo Lopez. Four innings of work for him, a couple of runs. Now Anthony Bender takes over. This is his 11th game this year, is yet to allow an earned run. And then there's that one, a little tighter. Works for the strikeout. Three strikeouts for Bender. 4-2 after five. Jim Mesa worked in the game last night, and he came into the game in the seventh inning and faced the same batter he's going to face here tonight. He saw Diaz and struck him out. And he does. He strikes him out for a second straight night. Jorge Alfaro was hit by a pitch his last time up. And there's a wicked slider as Mesa strikes out Alfaro, comes in and punches out two to close out the Marlins in the sixth. And now the power hitting left hander Rowdy Telez bats for the Toronto Blue Jays. Ground ball. Aguilar makes the play, steps on the bag, and six innings are in the books. Marlins in front, four to two. Starling Marte 0 for three. This is out to right center field, and that will extend the hit streak. A long home run to right center field. Marlins go deep again. It's 5-2. to two. A long home run from Starling Marte. Marlins' fourth home run tonight. Boy, he's going to pick on an elevated fastball and a no-doubter to straightaway center field. Back-to-back one-on walks by Bass here in the seventh, and that'll bring Guerrero to the plate representing the tie run. And this one out to right field. Duvall is there. He'll get that in quick, and Simeon goes nowhere. Teoscar Hernandez, he has struck out three times tonight. He goes out to the first pitch. Off the glove of Chisholm. Simeon will come around to score. The throw to home is late. Jazz Chisholm filling in at shortstop has committed a couple of errors in this series. Bichette ends up at third base as Teoscar reaches on the air by the shortstop. Here's Randall Grichik. He's two for three tonight with two home runs. Swing and a miss. Alfaro applies the tag, and the Marlins get out of it, giving up a run. Back-to-back -back base hits for the Blue Jays here in the ninth. So Bo Bichette, the batter. Base hit down the right field line. This court scored two. Davis is around third. He's going to score. The ball gets away from Duval. And Simeon's going to come in to score. And the Blue Jays have tied. Bo Bichette once again comes up with a big hit. So Don Mattingly really rolling the dice here. He has walked Guerrero, and now he has walked Teoscar. That'll load the bases and bring Randall Gritchick to the plate. Ground ball. Coming home. There's one at home. That'll be all they get. Now it's up to Joe Panic. Anything over the outfield is hard. The game's over. There's a fly ball. And this is going to do it. Marte in deep left center. And that'll be it. Vladdy Guerrero comes in. And what a dramatic comeback for the Blue Jays. They win it 6-5 in the ninth. Coming all the way.